part 28, ratio. You will find this on page 34 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Ratio. If you think of cool drink, if you know this Oros cool drink, if they say dilute my cool drink in the ratio 1 to 3, what does it mean? It means if you can take one glass of cool drink, then you take that same glass and you fill that glass three times with water and then it will be the correct strength. Or you can take one bottle of cool drink, then you take that same bottle and you fill it three times with water and then you pour everything together, mix it, and that will be the way you do it. Okay, so a ratio is two or more numbers with the same units compared with each other. Okay, now we are going to do the different calculations. We are going to simplify. We are going to divide or division in a given ratio. We are going to increase and decrease in a given ratio. And also we're going to find the unknown quantity if a ratio is given. Okay, let's start with the first one, simplifying. If I say simplify the following ratios, now remember, ratio is almost like a fraction. You can multiply anything with it, as long as you multiply the first number as well as the second number. The same with divide. As long as you divide the first number, the same thing you divide by the second number, you did not change the ratio. But that only counts for multiplication and division not for addition and subtraction. So you can divide or multiply by a number as long as you do it on both sides. Okay, so if you look at this one, I'm going to divide 32, divide 32, and my ratio is going to be 1, 2, 3. Or you can say divide 2, divide 2, divide 2, divide 2, and you keep on doing that until you cannot divide anymore. Okay, you can also use your calculator, the ABC. So if you press on your calculator, let me just write it down here. If you press 3, 2, and then you press A, B, C key, that's the fraction key, and then 9, 6, and then equal, then your calculator will say 1, 2, 3. Okay. If I come to this one, now in this one, what must I do? I must get rid of the the decimal places. I must get rid of that fraction part. So how do I do this? I multiply with something. Now because I would this decimal point, I want to move it two places. I'm going to multiply by 100. But if I multiply this side by 100, I must also multiply the other side by 100. And then I'm getting this. And then I start divide, divide, or I use my ABC and my simplest form will be 9 to 40. If I have a fraction, I first make everything fractions. Then I make the denominators the same. Okay, now because a ratio, say for example that ratio, 1, 2, 3. Let's just, let's just get another color. 1, 2, 3. It can also be written as 1 over 3. Okay, that ratio. Now, if you have this fraction, I just want to show you why it cancel out there. So if you have 12 over 2 to 9 over 2, okay, now if you make it a fraction like this, then you will have 12 over 2 divide 9 over 2. Now think of fractions. That will be 12 over 2. You make it a multiplication by taking the reciprocal. That's 2 over 9. Then it cancel, and my answer will be 12 over 9. And if I go back, I will just simply take it back to that form, so it's 12, 9. So basically, if you compare it, as soon as your denominators are the same, you can basically just cancel it. And it's due to this that it's cancelling out. And you can just write down the numerators. And that's what I did. And now you can simplify. You divide 3, you divide 3, and you get an answer 4, 2, 3. Oh, sorry. Okay, I want you to do the following. I want you to do, let's just mark it. Okay, do an easy one, number A. 
And then we will do a decimal one. This is C. And then we will do a uh, fraction one. This is this. And I think let's also do one with, with more than two numbers. Okay, let's start. Just make space. And we are going to do try. Now, 38. And let's start with number A. It's 28 to 16. Now, remember, whatever you divide on one side, you must divide on the other side. So you can divide by 4 and divide by 4. And my final answer will be 7 to 4. Now, if you press this on the calculator, you can press it on the calculator. Then it's 28. Then you press A, B, C. Then you press 16. Then you press equal. Now, if you do that, if you say 28, A, B, C, 16, equal, it's going to give you 1 slash 3 slash 4. But that's not what you want. You don't want it mixed. So just press shift, press the or second function, and then press again that A, B, C. Okay, let's just press it again. And then your answer, shift A, B, C, then your answer will say 7 slash 4, which is meaning 7 to 4. So if the big number stands first, it will just give you a mix. And to get rid of the mix, you just go shift or, or second function A, B, C, and it will take it back to an improper fraction. Okay, let's look at number B. Now in number B, now this one, it will be difficult to have a calculator. That's why you have to know the other method. So it's 14, 221, 235. Now you can see divide 7, divide 7, divide 7. So that will be 2, 2, 3, 2, 5. And that will be my final answer. Okay, and then if we look at number C, it's 2.8 and it's 56. Now I want to move it one decimal place. Then I will just multiply with 10. Both sides. Whatever you do on one, you do with the other one. So then you will get an answer of 28 and 560. And if you divide 28, divide 28, then it will give you 1 to 20. But you can again use your ABC. Okay. Um, I just have to make space for number E. If it's 1 over 7 and 1 quarter, now make your denominators the same. That will, what will it be? 28. So I times 4 times 4 times 7 times 7. And that will give me 4 over 28 and 7 over 28. Remember I showed you that this will just cancel out. So it will just be 4 to 7. And that is in the simplest form. Okay, let's just look at the next one. Okay, now if, if there's units and the units are not the same, then what do we do? We make them the same. So let's look at this example. Express the ratio 75 centimeters and 4 meters in the simplest form. So first just make the units the same. You can remember with your table, I'll show you now again, that you if you want to go from meters to centimeters, you just multiply 100. And then as soon as the units are the same, they will cancel out. And now you can just do this, the division, division to, to get your simplest form. Okay. Again, I want you to do number one. Okay, let's look for two that's different. There's two different units. Um, and let's do another one. Um, um, we can do this one with cents and we can do this one with Time or liters, I think we do this one with liters. Okay, and then if they just put it in a practical sum, it's more or less the same, so we can just do number two. Okay, you can again stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So it's 1.2 centimeters to 36 
millimeters. Okay, let me show you the table again. So remember it's kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters. And I showed you there is three zeros, there is two, and there is one. And I also showed you if you go to this side, you multiply, and if you go back, you divide. So let's look at our table. I want to go from centimeters to millimeters. So I will multiply by 10. So I will just go and I will just 1.2 multiply 10. And that will give me 12 centimeters to, oh, sorry, it's not centimeters. No, it is in millimeters. 12 millimeters to 36 millimeters. And now I can just simplify that, and I can just say it's that this units cancel out, so it's 12 to 36. So I can divide by 12, and I divide by 12. My answer will be 1, 2, 3. Okay, that was number D. Now let's look at number F. Now F is money, so it's 72 cents, and it is one million dollar, and it's 12 cents. So make the units the same. So it's 72 cent, then 100 cent, that's one dollar, and 12 cent. And now what happens with the units? They cancel out. So basically we are sitting with 72 to 100 to 12. And now I can just simplify this. Um, I can divide it by, let's just 72 divide, I'm just going to test. I divide it by 4. Divide by 4, and I divide by 4. Or divide 2, and then again by 2. But the final answer will be 18 to 25 to 3. That will be my final answer. Okay, let's just make space. Okay, and the last one is number I. So it's 2 milliliter and it's to two liters. Now can you still remember the table? Uh, one liter and that was milliliter and in between was a thousand. Again to this side multiply, go back, divide. So I take the big one, the liters to milliliters, so I must multiply by a thousand. So that's going to give me two zero milliliter two zero zero because I multiply by a thousand milliliters and what happens to my units it's going to cancel out and then I can just divide by 200 divide by 200 and my final answer will be let's just get my color one two ten okay let's do number two so if I look at number two a snack bar sells 84 cans of cola and 54 cans of Pepsi. Write down, simplify the ratio of the sale. Look what they say. They want cola to Pepsi. So what is the cola? 84. What is the Pepsi? 54. And now I must just go and I must just simplify this. So if I go, I think it can divide by 6. Let's just make sure. Yes, it can divide by, um, let's just see, cola, Pepsi. Um, if I divide this one by 6, and I divide this one by 6, so my answer will be 14 to 9. But if you struggle to see the 6, use your ABC, just remember to press your shift, or first divide by 2, and then divide by 3, until you get 14 to 9. Okay, I want to show you this, just this example. And this is almost like geography. So give each ratio in the ratio 1 to n. If you look, think of maps, of, of you will always see 1 to something. So if I say write the ratio in the form 1 to n, and I give you this. Now if you want to make this 10 a 1, you must divide by 10. So if you divide this side by 10, you also divide this side by 10, and you get 1 to 10. The same here. First make your units the same, okay? And then divide 2, divide 2. And there you have your scale. Okay. I want you to do the following for me. Okay, let's start with the easy one. This one, it's an easy one. 
Then it's nice if we can take one with centimeters. Okay, and then let's also do number two. Just you can stop again the video until you are finished, and then you can continue and see how to do it. So let's try now 40. And that's number 1A. Now, the first one is easy because it's just 2 to 500. Now, remember, this is like scale. They want it 1 to N, 1 to N, 1 to something. So I just divide 2 and I divide 2. And this one is easy because it's 1 to 250. That's the method. Okay, now let's look at the more difficult one, number E. The problem is the units are not the same. But now this is easy, and um, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to write the table because I'm going to need it for the next one also. So remember always my table, kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters. And then I always have my three zeros, my two zeros, and my one zero. If I go to this side, I multiply, and if I go back, I divide. So basically, in this one, I'm just going to go to centimeters, so I just multiply by 10. I just multiply by 10. So I'm going to get 2 millimeters to 200 millimeters. And if I simplify this, now the units cancel out, and I just divide by 2. And I divide by 2, and my scale will be 1 to 100. That's my scale. Okay, and then the last one is number 2. The scale of a map is given as 25 millimeters to 1 kilometer. Oh, express it as the ratio. Okay, now the first thing, this is, I must take, look here, I must take kilometers to millimeters. So I must multiply with a thousand, with a hundred, with ten. So how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's multiply a million. So I must multiply this with a million. And then I will get 25 millimeters to, and this will be my million. And now, as soon as the units are the same, I cancel them. And now I just go divide 25, because I want this one, divide 25, and this will be 1, 2, and my fi if I divide that, it will be 40,000. And that is the scale of my map.